Thank you for joining me. I'm meteorologist Brian Shields. I want to touch on this, what's going on over in Greece. Over 10,000 earthquakes just over the last uh, couple of weeks, about two and a half weeks or so since late uh, January in this area, plus a new aftershock in the Caribbean. So uh, a lot going on uh, with uh, earthquakes uh, around the world. But this area, here's uh, Santorini right in through uh, here. And here are some of the very recent earthquakes. And again, it's been pretty much nonstop. And some of them have been significant over five in magnitude, but over 10,000 now of those 10,000, a lot of those are really tiny, uh, but some have been uh, bigger. So again, uh, some uh, many folks have been uh, kind of self evacuating uh, some of these uh, beautiful uh, islands uh, in this region and for uh, relatively good reason. It's really hard to tell what could happen out of this. Uh, it's a volcanic area. Uh, it's an area that has had a history of uh, tsunamis uh, in the past. I don't mean that in a scary way, but just to uh, give you an idea of what uh, the folks there are kind of uh, thinking in the back of their their mind. So you can see here, this is one of the uh, uh, volcanoes. Uh, this is one of the uh, craters uh, from that, uh, that people sometimes uh, tour, not, not right now. There's a couple of these islands, kind of one island almost, but just uh, areas kind of uh, poking up. But you could see it uh, right here, just the uh, uh, volcanic uh, nature of this uh, area. This was back in 1950. There was one eruption, so relatively not too long ago when you're talking about history. And then there was a bigger quake uh, back in 1956, which did include a tsunami. So with all this activity out there, I mean, it's good reason uh, that uh, folks are kind of uh, thinking about all the, uh, the potential, uh, or at least the uh, potential of issues uh, out in Greece. But we're thinking of our friends there, just quake after quake, uh, nonstop. I'll keep you posted on that. Now, uh, this weekend, we had a 7.6 earthquake near the Cayman Islands uh, offshore of uh, Honduras, right? Uh, much of yesterday was quiet with aftershocks. Then yesterday evening and last night, there was one uh, aftershock. That was rather significant, about 4.8 in magnitude, splitting Grand Cayman in Honduras right here. So about 4.8. So as expected, I was mentioning there would be additional aftershocks, and there was uh, yesterday. I haven't seen any new ones over the last uh, couple hours, but I'll monitor that. Still the possibility of additional aftershocks in this area as a relatively active period continues. So again, watching the aftershocks, uh, no new quakes uh, back through parts of Central America, but monitoring this very carefully throughout the day. If there's additional aftershocks, any additional issues, I'll let you know, of course, uh, no doubt about it. In the meantime, we've had some spotty showers that have been around. Uh, the big action has been uh, to the north. This here is a front draped all the way down toward the southern U.S. with some uh, severe weather. Another big system. Look at that rolling into California. These big systems are going to be working Working across. I want to show you those. Now, in the meantime, I'll widen out in just a second. We're going to continue with those gusty easterly winds here. Winds have been persistent right around 56 kilometers an hour or 35 miles per hour, those gusts. And we've seen them even a little higher uh, near Columbia, where we've had some gusts around 80 kilometers an hour or 50 miles per hour. We'll do that again later today into uh, tonight. Uh, this here is by tomorrow. Generally the same thing in through the weekend. Those gusty winds are going to persist with these big systems up to the north. That strong flow coming in out of the east, this is taking it into Sunday as well. That means elevated seas, which I'll show you in just a second. Uh, the winds will relax a little bit in the uh, western uh, Caribbean as we work our way into uh, Sunday. So hopefully that'll help out some with the seas. In the meantime, with that easterly flow, we had a few showers overnight. St. Kitts and Nevis uh, over toward Antigua, Barbuda. Some spotty showers possible today. Watching a few near St. Lucia, St. Vincent and the Grenadines and still that little uptick in some of the rain. Costa Rica, Panama, we've had some additional scattered showers as we pull forward into Friday. And then again, I'll widen out the picture in a second. Barbados, we could get clipped by a shower uh, tomorrow. Still the elevated chance of rain, Guyana and Suriname. And then tomorrow in Belize, even parts of the Yucatan Peninsula of Mexico, but Belize in particular, Tomorrow for a Friday, we have a better chance of some scattered showers. And then on Saturday, hit or miss Costa Rica, Panama. And then again, Dominica, a chance of a couple showers. St. Lucia, Barbados, uh, Grenada with that easterly breeze still with us as we roll through the weekend. Now on the north side of everything, here's that system that's diving all the way down near the Bahamas and Florida, but the tail end of the front is much weaker. Most of the energy is up toward New England and the Atlantic region of Canada. So the front's not doing a whole lot for us in the Northern Caribbean. And here's that next system rolling in. You see it right there, west coast of the United States, everything working across. Now it's one system after another. You see it here. This is by Saturday afternoon. 
another system taking shape very similar so by sunday this one starts to work across parts of florida and the northern bahamas but once again the tail end of it doesn't do a lot so we're not looking at any big cool down at all in the northern uh, caribbean you see most of the energy lifting up through the weekend i'll zoom down here in a second lifting up toward the atlantic region of canada now by next week, there should be another system uh, developing. Uh, this one will be a little bit more down to the south. So I'm going to keep an eye on some additional rain that may be a possibility for some of us. This is looking uh, way out ahead in time into uh, Wednesday. You see uh, this one's a little bit more to the south. So we may get a little more action in the Caribbean, northern Caribbean, once we work our way into next week. Here's Bermuda, northern Bahamas right here. And you see uh, this system rolling by, bringing some of that uh, snow at times as we work our way into into tonight, tomorrow morning over toward uh, Newfoundland. And then this here is by the time we get into tomorrow afternoon, that system clears. But here's that next one, clipping by Pennsylvania, New York, uh, parts of the Great Lakes with some of that snow. This here is by the time we get into a Sunday, and that really winds up. Look at that, look at that snow main over toward New Brunswick, uh, watching over toward uh, Cape Breton, and then lifting up toward uh, Newfoundland as we work our way into Sunday night and Monday morning. This is Monday morning with some of that uh, snow around, and then eventually this front will kick through and it may clip by Bermuda. Bermuda, we're going to see a chance of some showers every now and then with that front moving by. Now I mentioned the winds in those elevated seas and you see them right through here. Everything's choppy. Here's meters, feet on the right hand side of your screen with these systems coming off the United States near Bermuda and North elevated seas, but we stay choppy in the Caribbean and those Atlantic passageways. We're looking at three to even about uh, pushing four meters at times. So just a heads up, things stay choppy, including over toward uh, the Gulf as we work our way into tomorrow and then in through the weekend, much of the same. We'll get a few areas that relax a little bit, but those Atlantic passageways, everything stays elevated over three meters, pushing 11, 12 feet at times in those Atlantic passageways. This is by the time we get into our Saturday. Now, with the tail ends of the Fronts clipping by, chance of a couple showers, parts of the Bahamas, but we're not looking at a whole lot. Freeport and New Providence. We work our way into Jamaica. Our rain chance scattered about at times. If we do get a shower, we're looking at less than 25 millimeters of rain or less than an inch of rain. Same thing, Cayman Islands. Dominican Republic, we may catch a few showers over toward Puerto Rico. This is that easterly flow. So all of us have that chance, but some of our islands will get wet. Others will stay on the dry side. It's just those fast moving showers that will be around. Same Lucia, you may see a few Barbados. Trinidad, not a lot. Our rain chance is a little bit lower. I'll cover that in a moment. But Guyana and Suriname, it's still on the elevated side where we could get some totals around 75 millimeters of rain or three inches of rain and some isolated flooding. Watching Costa Rica and Panama, some spots will be over 50 millimeters of rain or two inches of rain. And then watching tomorrow in Belize, some spots tomorrow in Belize may push about an inch of rain. Most of it would be on the lesser side. Could catch a shower near Mexico. City. So you see across Jamaica, our rain chance bumps up a bit, a 30% chance today, then about a 50% chance of some scattered showers on Saturday. Cayman Islands, our rain chance stays low and monitoring uh, the uh, aftershocks. 20% chance of rain today, Trinidad and Tobago. We'll have about a 30% chance isolated for tomorrow, but Barbados, rain chance today, 40% that easterly breeze around in holding at a 40% chance right into the upcoming weekend across St. Lucia. Next couple of days in Grenada, same thing, 40% chance. We'll bop around a 30 to 40% chance, St. Vincent and the Grenadines. Rain chance stays isolated in Martinique, about a 30% chance, about a 30% chance in Dominica. Passing showers, let me know if you get some or if you don't. 40% chance in Guadalupe into the weekend. 30% chance in Tiga Barbuda today. Uh, the winds are still going to be around. We'll have some of those gusty winds at times. St. Kitts, Nevis, and Montserrat, about a 50% chance. We've had our, our already some of that from overnight. Anguilla, St. Bart's, 30, maybe 40% chance leading into the weekend. Same thing, St. Martin, Saba, and Stacia getting brushed by some showers. 40% chance tomorrow and Saturday as we work our way into Puerto Rico. 30% chance, U.S. and British Virgin Islands windy conditions around at times. We work our way through the Bahamas, the tail end of the front moving by today. Northern Bahamas, we may catch a shower. We're mainly dry in the Turks and Caicos with some gusty winds at times. Dominican Republic tomorrow and Saturday, rain chance bumps up to about 50%. We swing back toward Haiti. We're looking at a 20% chance of a stray shower as we work our way into our Friday forecast. Rain chance bumps up tomorrow in Belize. 
that's when we had that 50% chance that I was showing you. So some scattered showers tomorrow in Belize, 20 to 30% chance, Aruba, Curacao, and Bonaire, and those winds are going to persist. Rain chance stays elevated across Guyana, isolated flooding possible. Next couple of days in Suriname, rain chance stays on the higher side. I'll be watching your comments. We're mainly dry in Cuba. Rain chance about 50% though, Costa Rica and Panama unsettled over the next few days into the weekend, 40 to 50% chance in Nicaragua, 40% chance tomorrow and Saturday in Honduras. Rain chance holding at about 30%, Guatemala and El Salvador, 20 to 30% chance in Mexico City, mainly on the east side. Rain chance stays about 20%, Yucatan Peninsula, Mexico, northern Colombia were mainly dry. Rain chance running about 20% in northern Venezuela and at times, these fronts pass by Bermuda with a better chance of some rain. So tracking the earthquakes and those aftershocks, uh, windy weather rolls on, watching the high seas, fast moving showers will be around and some of those areas of isolated flooding, Guyana back towards Suriname. So a lot going on with earthquakes, I will keep you posted. Thank you for subscribing. Have a wonderful rest of your day.